What's up guys, Nick Rich here. Thank you for tuning into the channel. Let's get right to it. The one second video. Everybody's been talking about the one second video hack. It's currently working for Instagram. So I wanted to try it myself. If you've been following me on Instagram, you'll notice that sometimes I will screenshot one of my tweets and post it as a piece of content, whether it's something motivational, whether it's a creative tip or something like that. And I'll just put it on my timeline. I noticed a short time ago that a lot of people engage with that. It resonates with them. It touches a pain point, something that they can relate to. So they'll comment on it, they'll share it, and they'll save it. I get a lot more engagement on those sometimes. I keep it really simple. I have a dark theme on my Twitter account. I screenshot that. I just make sure it's blacked out everywhere that it needs to be, and I post it. I tried the one second video hack with one of those tweets just the other day, and look at this engagement. I've never seen that type of engagement on any of my tweets before. I don't know, could they be like that on Twitter if I posted on Twitter more? Or is it just because of Instagram and the following that I have that, I, that had this amount of engagement? Now, I wanna break down the engagement for you real quick because a lot of people get confused on reach, views, impressions, and stuff like that. The way that Instagram breaks down their engagement, a view is when someone has viewed an entire piece of your content from start to finish. So if it's eight seconds, they watch the full eight seconds. If it's 30 seconds, if it's 60 second reel, they watch that entire reel. That counts as one view. Reach sums up the amount of people that actually saw that piece of content. They scrolled, they stopped, they saw it. That counts as reach. Similar to what an impression would be. Like an impression is when just someone viewed your content. They may not have stayed the entire time, but this is where it gets tricky because it's only a one second video. So they essentially they watch the entire video because it was only one second unless they just scroll extremely quick down the timeline and they didn't you know they didn't watch it at all not sure if that's the case or not but i'm going to do a little bit more research and figure that out over the next few weeks and i may tap back in i may post it to my instagram stories and i'll put it here on youtube in the short now let's talk about the one second video hack and what I use to make it happen. I actually use Canva. I never use Canva for any of my design work. I use Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. I went into Canva um, because I noticed with them, you can set your timing to a specific piece of content. Now I will say I tried Adobe Premiere Rush at first because I'm an Adobe guy. I was on my phone, so I wanted to make it as simple as possible to talk about. Uh, Premiere Rush, when I did the one second video hack, or I tried to, um, I set my time for one second to show a still image. When I exported it and uploaded it to Instagram, it played the one second, but it had that 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 like flicker, like it was one second of darkness, so it was visible that something was looping. You know, like in the movies when they you know, they go into security footage and, and they try to loop the footage so they, they're not seen walking down the hall. Yeah, well, mine, I would have been caught because my video was skipping, so I, I couldn't figure out what was going on. I went to Canva because I noticed in Canva, when you go in there to create a new project, you can set the exact time that you want. So I've set it to one second, I uploaded my image and I exported it as an MP4 versus a PNG or a JPEG for a still image. I exported it as an MP4 and it loaded perfectly to Instagram. I didn't see the loop, I didn't see it flutter or blink or anything. You can't really tell that a video is playing. So I think that's why they're calling it a hack because you don't really know that you're looking at the video. It doesn't lose any quality or anything like that. It just sits on your timeline as if it's a still image. Now, does this work for Instagram Reels? I am not sure. I haven't tried it yet. I'll test it out and I'll tap back in. And that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and save. If this added any value to you, I appreciate it. And um, subscribe below, follow, all of that good stuff. I'll tap in with y'all next time.